Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher, we can. Please increase my audio. Can you speak up, please? Can you speak? Speak. Hi. Wait. Let's see. Now, let me try this. Okay, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. All right. All right. Perfect. That sounds better. That sounds much better. How are you guys? How are you doing? Welcome to tonight's session. How's it going, everyone? How's it going tonight? How was your day, huh? Come on, talk to me, talk to me. How was it? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, so how's it going? Well, my day was very interesting because I was working in my home and I spent a lot of time with my family also. Okay, so you work at home, is that right? Yeah, yeah. That's great. And what do you do? Uh, do I don't know how to say, but we are building a part of my house. Oh, so you're 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 um building your house. You are the um sort of a construction worker, doing some construction yeah. work, huh? Yeah, you're right. That's difficult to do. Thank you for the information. And the other students, how's it going? My apologies, yesterday I had technical problems with my laptop. So we have a different laptop tonight and, and the lights also went out. It was crazy. So I apologize for that inconvenience, but we're back on track, and I'm very glad to say hello. Hello, Iris. How's it going, Iris? Hello, Josue, Byron. How's it going tonight, huh? Hi. For me, it's very good to share. I go a uh, weekend uh, time with my family, but... Uh, yesterday, uh, in my work is very, how do you say, difficult? Difficult. Difficult. Um, but um, it's very good the time. A pesar de. Okay. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Hey, well, let's go ahead and get it started. Let's call out the attendance tonight and see how we're doing with the attendance. See, is it recording? Is it recording? Yes, it is recording. It is recording successfully. So that's too slow, too uh, small. Zoom it. That's best. Okay, Ana Julia Mallorca Rodriguez, are you in the house? Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. I'm here to share. Good evening, sir. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Present teacher. Hey, good to see you, good to hear you. And we have the Maris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. There you are, the Maris. And Daisy Magdalena Hernandez Hernandez, are you there? Elizabeth del Carmen Mejia Torres. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present, teacher. Good evening, sir. Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Present. Good evening, Miss Elvia. Emma Jamiletka, Corea Madrid. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Josibeth Abigail Miranda Chavez. Here, teacher. 
already. Um, it is Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. Present teacher. Right. Joel Ulises Mejibar Mendoza. Josué Neftali Cibrián Hernández. Karen Elizabeth García Carpio. Present. Present teacher. Sorry. Josué. Okay, Josué. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Sorry. Okay. Manuel Alejandro Barrias Arce. Are you there? Marbeli Jocelyn Alemán de Santos. Present okay. teacher. Okay, Marbeli. Welcome. Good evening. Y Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. I'm here, teacher. Welcome, Monica. Good evening. Um, Natalie Geraldine Flores Aldames. Nelson Rolando Melgar. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Pablo. Patricia Verónica Salazar de Morales. René David Calderón Peñate. Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. Good evening, I'm here. Excellent, good to hear. Sara Maria Molina Cubias. Present teacher. Good evening, Sara, welcome. And last but not least, Saul Arnulfo Mejio de Crespin. Present teacher. Oh, bingo, bingo. Oh, right, oh, right. Let's get it on, let's get it on. Let's go ahead and share our objective for tonight. We have two chats to start with. Elizabeth del Carmen and Daisy Magdalena. Okay, I got you ladies, thank you. Now let me share um, the screen. And please confirm as soon as you can visualize my screen. Please confirm. Can you see my screen now? Yeah, I see. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, awesome. teacher. Okay, volunteer to read the tonight's objective. Any volunteer to read tonight's objective? No, se ve bien la imagen, teacher. No? Try again. No, try again. Let me try one more time. We're going to celebrate. Can you see it now? Can you not see it? It's the same. It's the same. Okay. A little bit, teacher, but I guess we I I can read, but a little difficult. <laughs> yeah. I think the internet connection is a little messy nowadays. Anyways, I'm going to picture it so you can see it on the WhatsApp group. Hopefully. Hopefully it looks good. Let me see. Yeah. It looks good. It says, uh, you will listen to a conversation about jobs where job requirements where gerunds and short responses will be used. We're going to have a job conversation, a job talk today. Let's find out. Here we have a conversation called, I need a job. Let's check this out. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements, as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson 
to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Okay, guys, did you catch the additional requirement for that job? Yeah, teacher. What yes, was the additional requirement? It's necessary okay. to speak a more than one language. It is necessary to speak more than one language. Um, I would like to have a little talk with all of you about it. Uh, what is your what is your personal opinion about um, nowadays how companies are getting updated you know and um, it's part of the requirements for the best companies now for you to know English um, what is your opinion about it and, and and why do you think it is is it so important um, to increase the bilingual population do I have any opinion can you raise your virtual hand Okay, so we'll go ahead. Give us your thoughts. Um, I think that if we can speak more than one language, uh, we can have more opportunities. For example, if we can speak uh, English and also French, for example. Why do you think uh, companies now have speaking another language as a requirement? Uh, for example, in a call center, Okay, in a call center, you can use your English, but, but why companies require now speaking another language? Why is that a requirement now? Somebody has an answer? In the future, maybe Sears. Say that again. Maybe Sears company. Sears, the company Sears. Yes. What happened at that yes. company? What happened? Uh, they they need a they need a person to talk uh, three three languages. Maybe three languages. Yes. Why why is that so important for companies, Josue? What's your opinion? English and French and. Uh, Wait, wait, wait. Uh, and uh, Rus uh, the Russia, Russian. Russia? Russian, yes. What happens with Russia? And Alemania. Germany. Yes, Germany. They need a, they need more post made uh, more personal to talk uh, uh, this language. The eating. On your you, you application with uh, you, your CV, uh, they told you uh, with the, well, they told you with the cell phone, they say uh, they, we are, we are inter interested in you, about you, why, why you, you talk uh, other language, only other language, three, four, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think. Okay. 
we have an opinion from Joshua. What's your opinion, Joshua? I think that companies are interesting to people that speak more than one languages because uh, the, nowadays they need to to connect with other companies to to have a, a re relationship to I don't know to work and and something like that, that. It's true. Bingo, 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 Joshi. Yes, it's true. That was my point. Um, you are totally right. They need people, employees that speak more than one or two or even three languages. The reason why is because they will have interactions with other countries in Asia, in uh, North America, in Europe, in Africa. So everybody speaks English. Is the worldwide language. People in China speak English. People in Germany speak English. People in uh, Latin America, a lot of people now speak English. So they need or they want to have more alliances with other companies. Uh, why? Because they want to grow. They want to expand the business, right? So that's pretty important. Um, what is the um, reason for you to uh, learn English? Is it because you want to get a different job? Huh? Is it because you want to get another job? That's why you're studying English? You want to be a teacher or you want to travel around the world? In my case, teacher, I would like to travel another country. Okay, you would like yeah, to travel and, to and, another and country, but that's for, for that's for working purposes to... or for pleasure purposes. No, uh, and also uh, I would like to get a, a better job. For example, this is the reason because I I was learning French also. This is the reason why, yeah. This is the reason why you're learning French. You're learning French also, Saul? So you're learning English and you're learning French at the same time? Yeah, uh, at the same time. All right, all right. Tell us something in French. Tell us something in French. If you can say, uh, I am Saul, in French, you can say, je m'appelle Saul, for example. <laughs> If you can say uh, good morning in French, you can say uh, bonjour. If Joe. you can say uh, good night in French, you can say bonsoir. Okay. Thank you for the demonstration, So Very interesting. Okay, no Somebody else, why, why is that you are studying English? What is your purpose? What is your goal? Go ahead, Brian. Okay, my purpose in this year you know, of in my life is I want to learn how to speak English because I would like to get a good job in the future and I would like to travel around the world. And but specifically, specifically, I would like to travel to Canada and I would like to visit many places in that in their in that country. For example, I would like to waterfalls or Niagara waterfalls. It's amazing for me and. In one day, if I can, uh, how to speak English, I can speak English, I, I, I will be able to save money in my bank account. And after that, I, I would invest in many things or in my own business. Wow, you have a very nice agenda, well, well prepared. Yes, it seems I, like you I, have a big mission. Yes. You have and a plan already. I would huh? like to be a teacher too. Nice. We need a lot of English teachers. Yes, it's a good language for me. That is a good profession for me too. Oh man, it's one of the best professions. I mean, it's not the best paid profession. Yes, but... uh, and actually, uh, before I work uh, like a teacher, but in another in another uh, in material, I guess. You mean in another subject? 
and yes. Yes, yes. Oh, Another yeah, English like subject. like teach English in uh, I mean teach for example mathematics in English or teach ah uh, yes, I, I taught that uh, to my classmate, my student. It was amazing for me. And so uh, I also well uh, touch uh, taught how to well them. It was amazing. Okay, so you already have experience. Yeah, a little bit, I guess. I, I, I told I tell I tell you that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's about it's about doing what you like to do, and if you enjoy it, then you can go for it. Do I have any other opinion? Do I have any other opinion before we move on? Teacher, um, for me, uh, but and the uh, English for me it's very important because in my work. In, in, I interest in a lot with uh, foreign people with speak English. Foreigners. Foreigners. For, uh -huh, yeah. Who speak English, huh? Uh huh. Um, it is difficult because I have to ha uh, I have to uh, translate it, and there is always a translating for me. Uh, uh, because it's uh, very important I speak English. So you always use a translator, is that what you're saying? Uh, repeat, please. You said that Video. right now you're using a translator, but but that's that's why you're studying English because you want to have the conversation yourself, right? Yes. With no translator. Yes. I I uh, for my work I speak English but my but different people in the company so your your work demands you to speak in English yes yes uh, um how do you say todos los de la compañía everyone in my company yes speak English what but for me, it's difficult. But you? Yeah, I know. I know. I know. But hey, you're studying English. I mean, you just need to have consistency, you know? Never stop studying English. And, and um, consistency and persistency, that is the key. Okay? Keep it up. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Oh, sweet. Sibrian, tell us about it. Okay. Uh, in my case, in my case, please. For I will to travel to uh, Sweden, Europe. Uh, uh, sometimes we we uh, with uh, I I will uh, work it. I will I will work with uh, other person uh, from other countries. For example, Somalia, uh, Ara uh, Arabia, Syria, Arabic. And Yes, Arabic. Arabic person. <laughs> okay, so and you're I, planning you're planning to travel to Sweden. To travel. Yes. And and but in Sweden they speak Swedish, right? Yes, I yes I do I do this. Also. So in, yes. in Sweden they speak two languages: Swedish and English. Yes. Swedish and English. Uh... I need three. Sometimes we need a three. Three language. What is the other Swedish, language? Swedish, uh, English, and Spanish. Spanish? Yes. Sometimes co uh, it's coming with uh, other person with uh, uh, from uh, Central America, South America. South America. They, South America, yes. They talk uh, uh, Spanish. From Argentina, from Chile, from 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 Argentina, from Chile, from Brazil, from Brazil. Yeah, from South yes. America. Yes, uh, I went to travel. I went to travel maybe these years. Okay, God willing, God willing. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and share now the uh, conversation. 
let's share now the conversation. I kind of sent you the picture. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-34. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's have a little conversation, okay, about this uh, interaction which is noticed between Dan and Brad. Could you tell me what is the conversation about? About a job, a new job. About a new job? Who needs a new who needs a new job? Both. Both of them, right? Both. Dan and Brad both need a job. Okay. And what kind of job do they mention? What kind of job do they mention? No? You want to listen one more time? Door to door salesperson. A door to door salesperson. Uh, and what else? A door to door salesperson. And what else? About entertainment in a cru cruise, uh, cruise. An assistant entertainment director. Yes, an assistant entertainment director. That's one of the job. And the other job is a door-to-door -door salesperson. Somebody can explain what does a door-to-door -door salesperson do? Volunteers, raise your virtual hand. I am not sure, but I think that it is a person that go door-to-door. Selling uh, something. Okay. Okay, acceptable. It's a person that goes. Remember, it's their person. It's a person that goes door to door. Yes. Yes. Somebody has a different um, way to say it? What, what does a door to door person do? Okay, we're gonna keep that um, answer by the previous student. Thank you so much. Let's go to the next job. It's an uh, assistant entertainment director. Yeah, an assistant entertainment director. What does an assistant um, entertainment director do? Any volunteer? Any volunteers? Director. Yeah, it's uh, an assistant say, uh, entertainment director. What they do? Say. What do they do? Uh huh. What's the job about? Okay. The sales product, uh, baby products. Huh? Sales. Yeah. Is an assistant Help to the director. <laughs> director. What do you think an assistant entertainment director do? Assistant. Like the right. Say that again. He must do all. <laughs> <laughs> he must do all. He must I do everything. Huh? I guess yes. it's the light. Assistant, assistant do all, all uh, about the of direct uh, director. For example, okay. director is a uh, uh, so uh, like some uh, uh, big boss on you okay. and 
And you are, and you are a, a assistant. Do you an all, assistant. all, all the time? Yes. Okay. Okay. I work. I work. It. I work with assistant. In how do you like? Way. How do you like uh, going on a um, on a cruise? How do you like going on a cruise? But for working purposes, I mean, you're a worker. Maybe you are a salesperson. No, no. Maybe you are um entertainment um director, right? An entertainment director or an assistant entertainment director. You have to travel on a cruise, and traveling on, on a cruise it means that you will be gone for a while maybe months or maybe a year or more how do you like that job how do you like that job do you like that job yes no and why do you like that job yes no and why the assistant entertainment director tell us volunteers i don't like this teacher <laughs> this job. Sorry? you don't like I it i don't like no, no. You say, oh, I don't like it. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Why? 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 Uh, yes, uh, we have very much stress. Very much stress for, uh, for example, when you have, a, when you have a, too much work, you must, uh, for example, uh, to travel to other country, other, uh, other, uh, Flat place uh, from a uh, light company, de la misma compañía. Tienen Same que company. lo mandan. Yes. Claramente. Okay, Por esa you razón. You don't like no this estoy... job, huh? No. You don't like this job. Somebody else, do you like this job as a, of an assistant entertainment director? You will have to go on a tr on a cruise. Sometimes it's for a period of seven or eight months. How do you like that job? Do you like that job? Yes, no, and why? Do I have any volunteer? Raise your hand, please. Come on, guys, use your English speaking practice. Hello. Mm. Hello, students. Mm. Hi, teacher. My, go ahead. Uh, go ahead, Mr. World. I don't like. I don't like that word. That word because in my case, I don't like to travel at all. A lot of. <laughs> uh, hey, wait! I, I, but it's well paid. They tell you like it's like thousands of dollars. Uh, for that's why uh could be a reason for me, but. Uh, to travel around or to travel a lot of uh, it's it's not for me but with the salary i i'll think i guess <laughs> think about it yes uh at the end i get uh if i don't i don't have family uh i'll work in that in that position if you don't have a family yes you touch something very important then. because someone that is single can definitely uh, face a big responsibility of having this kind of job but someone who has a family someone who has a wife a one yeah. or two children <laughs> uh, your your father your mother in the house it, it's extreme also that's because depend the the wife i guess <laughs> you, you're gonna get nostalgic you're gonna get uh <laughs> praise i don't know Okay, but if if I if I don't I I don't have family, eh, eh, I'll It'll work in that position. Family. Definitely, definitely. Okay, let me hear some of the people we want to participate. Let me see. It's Natalie Flores, go ahead. I like that job you because do? yes. Why? Because you you have the opportunity to to know a lot of places while you are on the cruise while and you're making money huh mm -hmm. it's true it's, it's, it's a good job i think it's like it's like you are doing uh tourism it's like you're going sightseeing you're, you're 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 a tourist, right? And you get paid. 
yes, I mean, you have to work, but at the same time, you are, you are seeing new places. You are meeting new people from everywhere, basically. You're making new friends, huh? And all that, oh. well, you're making a lot of money. That's true. That's true. It, it has a lot of advantages. It has a lot of advantages. Um, but I think that if you're single, you have more possibilities of getting a job like this. Uh, me, teacher. Go ahead, please. I don't like it because it requiere, how do you say? Viene de la palabra requerimiento, require. Require a lot of time. Yeah. Uh, why for the my family? Away, away from. Away, away from the my family. Okay, away from my family. Uh, okay. Away from my, my family. Yes. Yes, yes, definitely. That's what, that, that's what I was saying. That you will get depressed, you will get down, you will get nostalgic. Oh, my family, I miss my family. But in the other side, you're making a lot of money, guys. So some people say the sacrifice is worth it. The sacrifice is worth it because at the end, it's not going to be forever. And you're going to have a lot of grants in your hand. You know what I mean? A lot of money. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Let's go to the next slide. Thank you for your participation, guys. You make it pretty, pretty interesting. Let me just move this forward. We almost, we almost finished the platform as far as the material, so you should work your exercise as well. Don't forget. This is a commercial presented by Inglés Corporativo. Ah, just kidding. Okay, the next objective is how to learn uh, to make statements with gerunds and giving short responses. That's what we're going to study. Gerunds, oops, gerunds and short responses. Let's watch this video out. Now this one got great. Close your team. Objective. Okay. Bad guys, this is working a little slow. Okay, this is the conversation which is watched. And this is it. Parents and short responses. Hey, watch your audio, please. Watch your audio. Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, 
good at, as well as don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They're good at writing poetry. Or, I don't mind listening to people's problems. He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither, we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject or noun or pronoun after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject. And when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying, so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying, neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice. Okay, okay, okay. So all these verbs are followed by gerunds. Gerund, as you know, it's a verb plus ing, right? To explain something that is happening in the moment. Uh, let's repeat, all right? Admit. Advice. Admit. Admit. Advice. 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 Appreciate. 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 Avoid. 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 Begin. 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 Complete. 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 Consider. 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 Deny. 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 Discuss. 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 Forget. Forget. Keep. 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 Miss. 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 Postpone. 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 Prefer. 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 Quit. 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 Recommend. 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 Suggest. Oh, regret. 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 And suggest. And suggest. And all suggest. of them, all of them are followed by gerunds. Okay? All of them are followed by an ing verb. I want you to prepare examples with them. Remember that you need a gerund, a verb with ing. For example, I admit making many mistakes. 
For example, I keep, I keep working and working, you know? I keep studying English every day, all right? Prepare, prepare. You have any questions about this vocabulary first? You have no questions? Wow, excellent. In that case, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you 10 minutes so you can make examples using these verbs, followed by an ing verb, ing, okay? Prepare your examples. Use all of these verbs, all of these verbs. In 10 minutes, we come back and you're gonna provide examples. We're gonna practice more with verbs followed by gerunds. You have any questions? Do you have any question? You can give one example. <laughs> sure, I can give one example. Oh, okay. I recommend, 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 recommend. I recommend watching a lot of movies in English. Yes. For example, eh, discuss, discuss, dis discutir como platicar algo seriamente, discuss. We discuss learning English every day, okay? Avoid, rechazar algo, rechazar algo, right? Dejar de hacer algo, abandonar algo. Avoid, I avoid uh, drinking alcoholic drinks. I avoid drinking beers, okay? It's okay? Do yes, you understand? Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I'll give you 10 minutes. Prepare examples. 10 minutes. Make it interesting. 10 minutes to prepare examples. How many examples? As many as you can.
Alrighty, already. Let me hear some examples. Let me hear your examples. Volunteers, raise your hand. <laughs> raise your hand, volunteers. Come on, raise your hand. I have Carlos. Go ahead, Carlos. Shoot one verb followed by a gerund. Uh, you had a pleasure what others do for you. Okay, that is correct. That is correct. You have to appreciate what others do for you. Um, but you're not using a gerund. I need a gerund. Let me hear Josie. Do you have a verb followed by a gerund? Yes, teacher. Proceed, please. Um, I advise quitting your job. It is so frustrating. That is totally right. You are using a gerund. Good job, Josephette. Can you repeat the example for your classmates? Okay. I advise quitting my your job. It is so frustrated. Yes, definitely. Thank you, Josie. Let's go with Byron. Go ahead. Okay, Byron, let's go. Oscar, what do you have? Oscar, what you got? I admit to my children watching TV until 8 at night. I admit watching, my children I admit watching. watching TV with my children. I admit watching TV with my children, okay? Okay. Okay, um, let me see. Natalie, go ahead, Natalie. I have four examples. Awesome. Wow. Let's go. I admit missing my high school days. Hey, hey nice. Me too. I consider transferring to a different university. All right, all right. Why do you keep talking to my sister? Ooh, that's a good one. You avoid talking to me about what happened yesterday. Okay, oh my goodness, that's very uh, passionate examples, miss. <laughs> Great job. Congratulations. I have no corrections, no observations, nothing but good job. Somebody else. Let me see. Saul. What you got, Saul? Okay, teacher. Um, I, like, I like to learn French, but I prefer taking English class. Yes, English is, is it's more fun. Definitely. Thank you, Saul. Brian, it's a worldwide. Go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> all right. And I admit uh, talking every day about it. And she doesn't advise fighting with me. Okay. Uh, he appreciates uh, playing once a week. And my sister avoids taking a shower every day. I begin learning how to apologize. And I consider becoming a good father and I deny betting in the soccer mat much. And I discuss drinking alcohol with my wife. She has forgotten giving her bill and she kept playing every day. I miss going out with my friends and I prefer cooking with my mom and I recommend studying more. My God, that was a super combo, combo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more by Iris. Go ahead, Iris. Okay. I don't discuss it with my friends. I complete my homework in English. I never keep teaching my pet. We need to add the, we need to add the gerund, right? For example, I keep talking to my best friend, yes? Um, I like studying English, yes? 
So you need to put the main verb in base form and you need to put the ing as well. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me call the attendance to finish with. That's a nice, that's a very nice class we had about gerunds, uh, verbs that are followed by gerunds. Ana Julia Mayorga Rodriguez, are you in the house, lady? Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino, are you here? Okay, Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. I'm here, teacher. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Tamaris Meraz. Present, teacher. Rivas, okay, Carlos. Daisy Magdalena Hernandez Hernandez. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejia Torres. Present, teacher. Thank you. Next is Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Here, teacher. Emma Jamilet Corea Madrid. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Let me see. Josibeth Abigail Miranda Chavez. Here, teacher. Thank you. Iris Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Joel Eulises Menjivar Mendoza. Y Josué Neftalí Cibrián Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. I'm here, teacher. Manuel Alejandro Varias Arce. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Marbelli Jocelyn Aleman de Santos. Present, teacher. Thanks. Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And Natalie Geraldine Torres Galdames. Here. Thank you. Nelson Rolando Melgar. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Present teacher. You. Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Patricia Verónica Salazar de Morales. René David Calderón Peñate. I'm here, teacher. Thank you much. Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. Present. Sara Maria Molina Cubias. Present teacher. Saul Arnulfo Menjivar Crespin. Present teacher. Awesome. Thank you so much. Needless to ask you, sir. Ladies, see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Night, 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 everyone. See you. See, see you, you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Enjoy your dinner. Take it easy.